Forgive me, I'm still trying to recover from the fact that Aaron Rodgers said he loves me. <laughs> I'll keep fighting the good fight, Aaron. <laughs> I would like to thank you all so much for being here. I'm grateful to the amazing chefs, and I can tell you that being in the kitchen is an incredible experience. Not only because of the food, which is amazing, by the way, but because of the talented and cool people who made it. Thank you to my friend, Paul Bartolotta, for the culinary inspiration and fun. And to Dr. Adamson, you are a true genius who inspires all of us to believe that cures are possible. I will never forget meeting you just six months after my brother Jack died. I told you about my golden idea and you handed me your business card and you told me that you would help in any way you could. As a young girl, having an important man tell me that he believed in me was what I could, wanted to hear. Your words on the video and you being here tonight means more than I could ever imagine. Thank you. Last year, the G9 event focused on my dream for defeating childhood cancer. I am honored that so many people helped me and G9 achieve great things. But coloring the world gold is not just my dream. It should be all everyone's dream that is sitting here in this room, and it should be everyone's dream across the world. Our dream should be to help the children help our future live and so they can grow their dreams, not just imagine them. I've often talked about wearing the necklace that has my brother Jack's fingerprint on it. But tonight I have to wear a locket, one that holds a picture of my twin brother Jack and another one that holds a picture of my father. I know the work of G9 has to continue, but as a freshman in high school, I definitely can't do this alone. So that's why I'm turning to all of you, but most import importantly, I'm turning to my mom to help me carry G9 forward and to tell the story of what cancer has done to not only our family, but to families all over the world in hopes that one day it won't happen to them. My mom is an amazing woman who I could spend all night talking about. She is the one who said we have to get through this. We have to do it for ourselves and for my brother, and for my dad. My mom has picked up my broken pieces and helped mend me, even while she was still trying to mend herself. She is the one who is heartbroken if she misses even just one of my sports games and gets to enjoy watching me when I play. My mom has put so much dedication and hard work into this event, so I hope it turns out beyond what she could ever imagine. G9 friends, I am beyond proud to introduce my mom, Sarah Bartos.